Wrestling is a sport that dates, you know, over 5,000 years ago. Um, as soon as there was creations upon our planet, they started wrestling. Um, they uh, fought for dominance. Um, they fought for uh, mating purposes, whatever it was, uh, for those creatures back thousands of years ago. And then, um, you know, eventually evolved to where the, the Greek and Romans uh, made it a sport um, where thousands of people would show up to arenas and, and watch these two great gladiators um, compete. Wrestling's broken down to 14 weight classes. Um, there's usually about a six or seven pound gap in between each. Uh, weight class and then you know through a warm-up period of some sort um, getting the bodies ready to go to compete and then um, they usually start with the little guys and work their way up to the big guys and uh, they announce two competitors out and they one puts on a green band and one puts on the red and we blow the whistle and, and here we go. Um, our sport's pretty special because there's no timeouts uh, or there's very little breaks. Um, the only breaks we get are when they go out of bounds um, or if there's a whistle blown or, or something to stop the action. Otherwise, it's pretty much a six minutes of nonstop action, which is pretty rare in a lot of sports. Um, there's different ways that you can win. You can win by points, uh, you can win by pin. Um, with winning by points, there's different um, point criteria. A regular decision is if you uh, beat your opponent from anywhere from one point to seven points. Um, and then a major decision is eight points to 14 points. And then we have what uh, we call a technical fall, is if you're beating somebody by 15 points, they end 15 or more points, they end the match at that time. You know, getting the pin is the ultimate, you know, that's the ultimate display of domination. Um, so that, you know, ends it right then and there. Um, you know, different ways that we score points, takedowns are worth two points uh, to where one opponent is able to take the other one down to the mat and, and show that they are in control. Escapes are worth one point to where that person on the bottom then can get away and get to their feet. Reversals are worth two points to where the person on the bottom reverses position now is on top. Um, and then we have uh, near fall points to where if you're holding your opponent to where their back is at a certain angle to the mat and you hold them there for so long, then you can get two points or three points depending on how long you hold them there. But I think once you figure it out and once you know um, the basics of it, it's, it's an exciting sport to watch. It's a great opportunity for two people to go out and test their strengths, both physically and mentally. And, and thank goodness now, one, you know, both people get to walk off, just one's a winner and one's a loser.